the Good Shepherd has risen, who laid down his life for his sheep and willingly died for his flock. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Well, I'm glad you can join me for this Facebook Live Mass on Monday in the fifth week of Easter. We're offering our Mass for the repose of the soul of Mick Hansen. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison, Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. May your right hand, O Lord, we pray, encompass your family with perpetual health, so that, defended from all wickedness, by the resurrection of your only begotten Son, we may make our way by means of your heavenly gifts. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. With the con convenience of the authorities, a move was made by pagans as well as Jews to make attacks on Paul and Barnabas and to stone them. When the Apostles came to hear of this, they went off for safety to Lyconia, where in the towns of Lystra and Derbe and in the surrounding country, they preached the good news. A man sat there who had never walked in his life because his feet were crippled from birth. And as he listened to Paul preaching, he managed to catch his eye. Seeing that the man had the faith to be cured, Paul said in a loud voice, Get to your feet, stand up. And the cripple jumped up and began to walk. When the crowd saw that what Paul had done, they shouted in the language of Lyconia, these people are gods who have come down to us disguised as men. They addressed Barnabas as Zeus, and since Paul was the principal speaker, they called him Hermes. The priests of Zeus outside the gate, proposing that all the people should offer sacrifice with them, brought garland oxen to the gates. When the apostles Barnabas and Paul heard what was happening, they tore their clothes and rushed into the crowd, shouting, Friends, what do you think you are doing? We are only human beings like you. We have come with good news to make you turn from these empty idols to the living God who made heaven and earth and the sea and all that these hold. In the past he allowed each nation to go its own way, but even then he did not leave you without evidence of himself in the good things he does for you. He sends you rain from heaven. He makes your crops grow when they should. He gives you food and makes you happy. Even this speech, however, was scarcely enough to stop the crowds offering sacrifice. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to us, to God. Not to us, Lord, but to your name give the glory. 
Not to us, Lord, but to your name give the glory. Not to us, Lord, not to us, but to your name give the glory, for the sake of your love and your truth, lest the heathen say, Where is their God? Not to us, Lord, but to your name give the glory. Our God is in the heavens, he does whatever he wills. Their idols are silver and gold, the work of human hands. Not to us, Lord, but to your name give the glory. May you be blessed by the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. The heavens belong to the Lord, but the earth he has given to men. Not to us, Lord, but to your name give the glory. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Holy Spirit will teach you everything, says the Lord, and remind you of all I have said to you. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Anybody who receives my commandments and keeps them will be one who loves me, and anybody who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I shall love him and show myself to him. Judas, this was not Judas Iscariot, said to him, Lord, what is all this about? Do you intend to show yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus replied, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him and we shall come to him and make our home with him. Those who do not love me do not keep my words, and my word is not my own, it is the word of the one who sent me. I have said these things to you while still with you, but the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all I have said to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our first reading shows that faith and healing are intrinsically linked. The man at Lystra is sure that he will be cured of his infirmity, but above all, he will hope that the apostle will heal his soul. And Paul responds to the man's faith and does heal him, body and soul. The people seeing the miracle are reminded of the legends of the past and prepare to give honour to these two apostolic visitors, thinking them gods in human form. Paul and Barnabas completely reject their praise, distancing themselves from the slightest notion of idolatry towards them. It's similar to when people leave the confessional, when in response to the words, the Lord has freed you from sin, go in peace, many respond, thank you, Father, when they should be responding, thanks be to God. In fact, our whole life should be offered as a sacrifice of thanksgiving to the living God who gives us life and continues to watch over us. Throughout history, Many people have had the sense of this hidden power lying behind the course of nature and human events. But it should not be confused with something like the Force in Star Wars, but something more personal, a relationship to which we are incorporated into, a relationship that helps make sense of all the uh, relationships that we form, our family and our friendship. We are social beings. We are called to participate in the life of the Trinity. And so Paul and Barnabas talk to the people about the true God who transcends us but is concerned for us, who enters our human history in the person of Jesus of Nazareth, transfor transforming our dignity so that all who seek might find him. And when a person recognises the presence of his creator, speaking to them in the scriptures and the sacred traditions, 
their conscience is awakened to a deepening moral conviction of Jesus as the way, the truth and the life. Our Lord manifests himself to those who love him and keep his commandments. But he also speaks of how the Holy Spirit will come to dwell in us at our baptisms. And the Holy Spirit helps us to make a discovery of the supernatural life that we've been raised to through divine grace, which is what makes it possible, in fact, for us to share in the communion of the Blessed Trinity, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that, purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to lord you yet more gloriously, for in Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, plenis uncelli et terra, gloria tua, hosanna in excelsis. Benedictus, qui venit in nomine Domini, hosanna in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, 
for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognising the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Paul, St. Barnabas, with St. Mary Magdalene, St. Martha, St. Richard, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and Richard our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom, though we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, for whom you bestow on the world all that is good. O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all oh, glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Agnus Dei, qui tollis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tollis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tollis peccata mundi, dona nobis pace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give it to you, says the Lord. Alleluia. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Regina Cheni Letare, Alleluia, Quia Quia Marusti Portare, Alleluia, Resurrexit Sicudicti, Alleluia, Ora pro nobis Deo, Alleluia. <laughs>